Life. It's Tuesday. It's amazing. FBA News Day. The show for Amazon seller news. Here's your host, Michael Veazey. Amazing FBA News. This is your host, Michael Veazey. The Pound has uh, had some unexpected good news with UK wage growth now double the rate of inflation. There's been been a big jump in 3M employment, but there are tepid gains and there is uh, not much upside predicted by the markets. Uh, according to the ONS, average earnings read at 3.9% in June, ahead of economic forecasts for about 3.8%. This is an 11-year high. The average earning index is good and also the better than expected employment earnings. The UK workforce grew 115,000 on a three month on three month basis in June, where a market said only expected growth of 65,000. Uh, while much of that was part time employment, it's encouraging that firms have retained their workers, suggesting they expect activity to pick up again following the Brexit hangover in Q2, says Andrew Wishart, UK economist with Capital Economics. The UK unemployment rate nudged up unexpectedly to 3.9%. Uh, when it comes to currency markets, deviations from expectations move a currency and the best on expectations therefore should be supportive of sterling. There have been some gains in the pound following the release uh, with the pound to euro exchange rate dining, uh, trading at one euro and seven cents. The pound to dollar exchange rate traded at one dollar 20. These are approximations based on hour by hour changes. Sterling, however, remains heavily dependent on Brexit sentiment and therefore the main predictors of the future with these currencies are not expecting any gains in the currency to be long lasting in nature. Petra Krapata, a foreign exchange analyst with ING Bank in London, said, we view any days of uh, pound strength as a fade and see more sterling weakness ahead as we get closer to potential early elections, a road to which will still be very tricky and characterised by hard Brexit risks, he said. The pound has also advanced slightly on reports that Remainer MPs have an option to block a no-deal Brexit. Pound sterling went higher on Monday in a move that concludes with fresh reports there and still, in fact, credible routes that can be explored by MPs wishing to prevent a no-deal Brexit. Sterling has been under pressure over recent days and months as it became increasingly clear that Prime Minister Boris Johnson could deliver a no-deal Brexit if he truly desired such an outcome, and all indications thus far in his still young premiership suggest that he is intent on doing so. From a currency perspective, it's therefore likely that any suggestions that MPs do in fact still have options to thwart the Prime Minister's intentions would potentially prove supportive to Sterling. Fritz Liu, a currency analyst with MUFG, said in a report in The Times that MPs are drawing up plans to compel Boris Johnson to break his do or die pledge and force him to request an 11th hour Brexit extension from the European Union. According to the report, MPs would look to bring down the government in a no confidence report, uh, in a no confidence vote, uh, sorry. However, instead of forming a new in administration in the 14 days stipulated by the Fixed Parliament Act, MPs will try to introduce new legislation. This new legislation will state that the government must ask for a Brexit extension before calling a mandatory general election. After all, if no alternative government is formed within 14 days, a general election must be held. This document has reportedly been discussed with Labour leadership and has been signed off by Dominic Grieve and circulated among 300 MPs who support a second referendum. It would be counterproductive to spell out the precise mechanism through which this must be achieved, but we must be clear about the principle. A general election must not be used as a device to get a no deal or any other form of Brexit over the line without the public having their say, the document says. The report is significant in that it is the first real sign that there remain options to prevent a no deal. Markets have of late steadily been rumping up expectations for a no deal, and this is most clearly expressed through the selling of sterling. If the tide against no deal were to turn, then perhaps sterling's fortunes would also shift to the upsides. The reports come as the pound to euro exchange rate is quoted about $1.08. That was on Monday, on Tuesday, the 13th of August, approximately $1.07. Recently, the pound has hit a 10-year or rather 11-year low against the euro. So to put it in context, it is very, very historically low against the euro and the lowest it has been against the dollar for uh, at least two years.
Amazon Europe now. And following the creation of a 3% digital services tax in France, Amazon has informed sellers that they will have to adjust their referral fee rates on Amazon.fr, that is Amazon France, to reflect the additional cost. Starting on October the 1st, 2019, the referral fee on sales that occur on Amazon.fr will increase by 3%. For example, on an item for which the referral fee is currently 15%, sellers will pay a fee of 15.45% from October the 1st, 2019. A couple of additional examples have been provided by Amazon to us on an item for which the total sales price is €100 and the current referral fee rate is 15%. Your referral fee rate starting October 1st, 2019 will be 15.45% and the referral fee you pay will be €15.45. For more information, there are plenty of Seller Central information about the Amazon fee schedule Amazon has been quizzed over its choice store ratings. Amazon has been told to reveal how it decides which product gets the Amazon's choice label in its online store. Two US senators have written to Amazon asking it to say whether people or algorithms are making decisions about what gets the label. They are worried that the choice category can be manipulated via fake reviews and can mislead consumers. Amazon said it worked hard to ensure reviews were accurate and real. The online retail giant has been given until the 16th of September 2019 to respond to the letter. The letter was written following an investigation by news site BuzzFeed, which claimed many products in the choice category are of poor quality or have their ratings boosted by fake reviews. Research suggests products getting the choice label sell better. OC and C strategy consultants found that products awarded the choice label see a sales jump of around 300%. This is partly because anyone using their Amazon Echo smart speaker to buy products in a category in which they've never shopped before will get a product bearing the choice label. We are concerned the badge is assigned in an arbitrary manner or worse, assigned in a fraudulent uh, manner or based on fraudulent product reviews, wrote Democrats Bob Menendez and Richard Blumenthal. A lack of transparency about Amazon Choice means consumers were prevented from making informed choices, they said. The senators want answers about the process behind choice and whether the products in the category are ever checked by people to ensure they are not faulty or badly made. Mr. Menendez told BuzzFeed he wanted a full and robust answer to the queries in the letter. This could prompt a further call to Amazon to change the way choice products are picked, he said. Or we force it to change by some federal agency regulating it or some legislation, he added. In a statement, an Amazon spokesperson said, Amazon invests significant resources to protect the integrity of reviews in our store because we know customers value the insights and experiences shared by fellow shoppers. It said it used both human investigators and automatic tools to find and remove fake reviews. It said it policed its reviews, working with social media sites to stop fake reviews being generated and took legal action against offenders. We work hard to enrich the shopping experience for our customers and selling partners with authentic reviews written by real customers, it said. Customers can help by reporting any requests they get to manipulate reviews to customer service. That was Amazon Seller News with your host, Michael Vesey. Just a quick reminder that if you're an advanced seller, if you're doing six, seven or eight figures uh, a year on Amazon, or even wanting to get to that level from a, a relatively modest start, our sister podcast, the 10kcollective.com is where you'll find it. The 10K Collective podcast uh, is the place to go to. We have lots and lots of information. Now we have 42 episodes that we've already recorded and multiple more to come with experts in sourcing, market research, pay-per-click advertising and um, sales tax, legislation around that and video marketing, just to name a few off the top of my head. We have some of the big names like uh, Will Churnland, Kevin King, some people who are less known but should be better known to the Amazon community like Rick Cesari, who was responsible for the GoPro camera uh, doing a billion dollars in sales thanks to video marketing. So some amazing content there. Go check it out, 10K Collective. You can just pop that into your favorite podcast app. We are on uh, Apple iTunes, I should say, Spotify, uh, Google Play, Google Store, TuneIn Radio, you name it, we're there. So check it out. And thanks in advance for listening. 
If you want to stay up to date with news and interviews and strategies to stay afloat on Amazon, just go to amazingfba.com and click on the blue button that says Amazon Insiders Club. Thanks for listening.